certainly a very moving scene today as Chardon High School students and staff walk together to Chardon Square as part of their day of remembrance and renewal. New Channel 5's Kristen Volk joins us and Kristen, we saw a range of emotions on their faces. We certainly did, Lee, and it was certainly a sight to witness firsthand. The entire student body of Chardon High School, we're talking about a thousand teens, made their way through these streets of Chardon here to show support for one another, their school, and their community. It was a sea of red and black. Students unified in the school's colors and many linked arm in arm. It's been a hard day in, in the sense that it, it has been one year but it's also been a great day in, in the support that they've given to each other. Chardon High School principal Andy Fetchett was overwhelmed by the support he saw among students today. That support was obvious on this walk. We've rallied around togetherness and knowing that there's people there for us um, to know that, that we have each other. The entire school, plus teachers and first responders, made the 15-minute trek today to remember the three teens who lost their lives at Chardon High exactly one year ago. We don't want to be remembered for the tragedy. We want to be remembered for the strength and the unity that we have together as a community. Chardon Superintendent Joe Bergant says the bond here is stronger than ever. There's a strong sense of, of peace and companionship. Which was evident immediately following that horrific day. Chardon students did this same walk last year when classes resumed after the shooting. Classmates gathered at the town square and walked together to the high school. Throughout it all, this town has rallied together, and today was no different. Hundreds of residents lined the streets and emotionally watched as this group slowly and silently walked past. Kids need to talk, need to express themselves, and I think through this tragic event, I, they've learned and, quite frankly, been given the permission, and they've given themselves permission to tell people something is wrong. While valuable lessons have been learned, the victims will never be forgotten. There's going to be three empty chairs at graduation this year, and I think, I think that will always be in our hearts. After the ceremony this afternoon, the students made their way back to the high school where they were treated to hot chocolate and then dismissed for the day. Live in Chardon, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.